G'day guys, how's it going? My name's Trev, and this is my channel, Trev's Life. Now, I don't know about you guys, but on a rainy old day like this, it always, sort of, it always reminds me of cheese toasties. Like when I was a kid, oh, it's too cold and rainy outside. Let's go inside and make a cheese toasty. So, that's what I'm gonna do today. Alrighty. Now, today's cheese toasty recipe isn't just going to be a boring old cheese toasty. This is going to be a next level cheese toasty. Alright, so let's hook in. First of all, let's get, let's get this little pot cooking up. Turn the temp down a little bit. It's not too strong. Now, what we're doing is we're going to make a white sauce to put on top of the cheese toasty. It's going to be crazy. All right, so that's heating up. Now, okay. First of all, two dessert spoons of butter. Straight in the pot, one, two. Now, pull that off, move him around. Get the butter melted. All right, beautiful. Now, Next part, two dessert spoons of flour. White flour, it can be plain flour, self-raising flour, it doesn't matter. Whatever you got in the cupboard. So, one and two. Okay, now what we do, we stir it around. Stirring, stirring, stirring. And what you end up is like a little bit of a buttery sort of a paste. And then to that, we add one cup of milk. In with the milk. And stir, stir, stir. Now after a couple of minutes, I'll probably, I'll probably speed this bit of the video up. But after a couple of minutes of stirring, this is gonna thicken up to a beautiful white sauce. Also to that, we add a bit of salt and a little bit of my, my favorite spice, garlic pepper. Stirring, stirring. Okay, well that's heating up. We need a little bit of grated cheese. Okay, so let's keep stirring. Oh, she's starting to thicken now. Rightio, now, that's nice and thick. I don't know if you can see that. That's nice and thick. Now, so that, we put in a little bit of grated cheese. Whatever cheese you like. I've got Devon Colby cheese, which I love. So now what you end up with is this beautiful, gooey, Cheese sauce, <laughs> oh yeah. So, just pop that to the side. Next thing we do, get the pan on, get some heat into it, and prepare our bread. A lot of people use fancy, big, thick slices of bread. I don't like to do that, because I don't reckon it melts the cheese on the inside. So, two regular pieces of bread. If you like really yummy bread, go to Brumbies. <laughs> Little plug for Brumbies there. All right, now, where's my knife? Here's my knife. Now, don't be shy. This isn't a recipe about losing weight. This is a recipe about flavor. So, lots of butter on your bread. Lots of butter. Slap it on. 
This is flavor country, folks. Now, chuck your bread in. Get a little bit more cheese. Always grate your cheese. I find it helps it melt better, quicker. So, onto your bread, a nice big wadge of cheese, maybe a little bit of cheese around the outside, just for those lovely little crispy bits. And there we are, that's cooking. Now, put your piece of bread on top, get your egg flip, squash it down, squash it down, flip it over, Alrighty. Yeah, that's that's cooking. Now, what I do is I chuck this pot lid on top. It creates a nice warm environment for the cheese to melt inside, so that the cheese melts before the outside of the crust gets too too dark. See these crunchy bits? That is a perfect garnish for the top of your cheese toasty. And get these crunchy cheese bits out. Pull them out. Oh yeah, look at that, eh? Put them to the side. Right here, guys. Cheese toast has been cooking for a couple of minutes, getting that inside cheese nice and gooey and runny and delicious. So, what we do next is pop the cheese toasty on your serving plate, like so. Now, what we need to do, throw a nice wedge of butter in the pan. Ooh, sun's coming out. Lovely. Okay, get your butter melting. Now the next thing is one egg. Crack in your egg. And let him slowly cook. Don't don't put too much heat into your eggs so you get those yucky crispy edges. You don't want that. You want it to slow cook and be velvety smooth and soft and delicious. Okay guys, while that egg was cooking, I just popped the sandwich back in the pan just to keep it nice and warm. Keep that cheese delicious and soft and gooey. And now it's time to plate up. So, one cheese toasty on the plate. Grab your cheesy sauce, give it a quick stir, and pop it on top. Oh, look at that delicious, cheesy goodness. Woo-wee! Yeah, that's flavor country. Yeah. Top of your cheese sauce, place your egg, like so. Alright, so the egg's on top. Now, chuck on a sprinkle of cheese around the outside, a little bit on top. And then you get these delicious, crunchy pieces of cooked cheese and put them on top as a nice little Garnish. <laughs> now I ask you guys, is that not the best looking cheese toasty you've ever seen? I'll give you a quick close up. Alrighty guys, look at that, eh? What a corker of a sanger. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for the taste test. Go into the corner here, get yourself a little bit of egg, a little bit of sandwich, cut him off. that. 
Hoo -hoo. Maybe just get a nice little crunchy bit to have with it. <laughs> mm. That is so delicious. That reminds me of my childhood every time. <laughs> I don't think I was that fancy when I was a kid with the white sauce. But that cheesy, yummy toasty. Oh my goodness. Alright guys. There she is. Trev's egg and cheese toasty with cheesy white sauce. How good is that? Alright guys. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, can you do us a favour? Hit the like, share and subscribe. And uh, if you have a go at this, Put it down in the comments, show me a picture. Can you do pictures in the comments? I don't think so. Put it down in the comments, tell me how you went. Alright guys, until I'm on the next video, I'll see you then. Ta-da!